Happy Halloween! En esta semana, qué mejor que conocer a la artista Amy Goodhart, quien nos va a presentar su mundo de fantasía y disfraces. How are you, Amy? I'm really good. <laughs> Welcome to the magical costume wardrobe. Ah, oh, we are ready to start exploring with you. I can't wait to show you around. <laughs> Perfect, let's go. <laughs> I would like to ask you how uh, how you started in this industry. I started out as a dancer and a performer. I was a showgirl, and uh, at the time, doing these small cabaret shows, I couldn't afford to pay someone to make costumes for me. So I learned how to make headdresses. That was my first kind of foray into costume design. But I didn't know how to sew. I only oh. knew how to like glue and make things. <laughs> so I taught myself how to sew and. After many years, got pretty good at it. <laughs> like, which components enter in your creative, creative process? My inspiration comes from everything. It comes from New York, dreams, art shows, people, just a lot of movies. I love old films. And what do you expect people to take away from your shows and from the piece of clothes they are wearing? I think anytime you can get people to just stop thinking about the outside world and just get lost in it, you know, even if it's just a costume here on a mannequin, it's still presented as art. Yeah. And so, you know, people aren't thinking about what to do after work or, you know, what their troubles are. They're really just, um, enjoying uh, the whole visual of it. So whether it's on stage or, or uh, I guess in a book, I, I think that's every artist's goal. This collection, um, it's all black and white, which really shows the texture yeah. and the silhouette. And it's also inspired by different decades. Oh, which so, decades do we have? Well, this is very 1960s, mod, plastic, plastic. So inspired by Twiggy. Um, and the 70s, inspired, of course, by David Bowie. Yeah. <laughs> because I love David Bowie. <laughs> and uh, this is very 80s, um, kind of Klaus Nomi, New Wave. And So this is one of the headdresses, it's super, super heavy. It is close to 20 pounds oh, wow. and it's all real Swarovski crystal and it comes uh, in an installation of human chandelier girls. This dress right here um, comes from a collection I did of birds and the black raven. And it was just uh, shot in the Dior Homme uh, advertisement with Robert Pattinson. Oh, yeah. Uh, we also have a red cardinal, which is very extravagant. Yeah. And she is my pink flamingo. Oh. So this costume, again, one of my favorites. Um, I didn't. This wasn't a commission or made for anything. I just made it for myself um, because I really wanted to show that I could do a um, period piece. And also I'm now transitioning into designing costumes for film. This is Queen Elizabeth and um, the corset is very detailed. And uh, I had a team of, of assistants helping me and we actually used crystals that were one millimeter, um, smaller than if you can see up here smaller than uh, salt <laughs> with tweezers so um, and this is silk velvet very expensive
And it was a dress that I actually made for myself uh, that I wore for a performance at a party. And I kept it in my closet for a while. And then I started making costumes for Lady Gaga. Uh, first just doing masks and hats and things when she was uh, earlier in her career. Accessories for photos and lots of famous photographers. And uh, I had an opportunity. She was doing um, an appearance on the show Gossip Girl. Yes. So it was a very big show, and so I lent her this dress to oh, wear. Yeah. Costume design is one career that it definitely is your entire life. You know, everything you see inspires you but um, the deadlines are always crazy um, and the materials are always different so you're constantly learning. There's never uh, a project that you say, oh, I've done this before. Um, every single time is something new. I wanted to ask you if you will, were going to be a costume like that represents you as an artist. Like, what, which one would you pick? I know it's a big it's question. It's so but difficult. People <laughs> always ask me, what's your favorite? And it's like choosing um, a favorite child. Yes. <laughs> I think, hmm, probably, I don't think this represents me as much, <laughs> but my fantasy, I would love to do the Marie Antoinette. Oh. Costume. It's very, I think being in costume, you get to be whoever you want in the fantasy, and it's so over the top feminine and, and uh, rich and opulent and oh, really? very different from how I grew up. Y así terminamos el episodio de esta semana. Agradecemos mucho al artista Amy Goodhart y nos volvemos a encontrar el próximo jueves. Chao, chao.